this is Nicole Smith Woodard with EXP Realty and today we're going to talk about how to protest your proposed tax value for 2019 and this is for all of the state of Texas. As we get deeper into the specific examples you'll see specific to Tarrant County so this may look a little bit different than your county's website but the concept is basically the same. In the state of Texas we are so fortunate that we have the opportunity each year to see what the tax assessor is appraising our value for and it's based on a lot of different things but certainly in the North Texas area where we have seen significant appreciation over the last six years every year it seems like homeowners are shocked by the proposed value so sometimes it makes sense to protest that now there are three types of protests. There's the automated protest which we're going to go through which usually will yield at least a 2 to 6 percent adjustment just going online and attempting to do it. There's also the informal protest. Now this is, a, is if you have purchased or refinanced in the past 12 months then you actually have an appraisal or some other tangible evidence of a lower value than what the assessor's office is actually saying it's worth. So you can upload that information and a very high percentage of the time the tax assessor will lower the appraised value to that particular value. And then there's the formal protest where you actually attend a hearing with the appraisal review board and you'll want to use data provided to you by a realtor. Now you should have received a blue piece of paper in the mail real recently if you haven't yet be watching for it. Many of the counties have a May 15th deadline. Now this is a deadline to notify the tax district of your desire to protest. It's either May 15th or 30 days after it's sent out. So just to be safe, factor in May 15th as your deadline. Now you'll notice on the, the assessment value that you receive is you've got your account number, Whoops, let's go back. You've got your account number and you also have an online PIN. And then it's going to say very clearly when your protest deadline is. Now I'm here to help. I'm not set up to actually do this process for you, but I am happy to provide detailed comparable data that will enable you to do this for yourself. There are also companies who can do this for you for a fee, but you probably want to try this first. First go to your tax, your tax website, and in our case we're going to look at tad.org. Within that, you want to log in either by creating an account or logging into an account. That's what this screen looks like. And again, that PIN number is where you get on your actual notice of value. And then you want to make sure that on your dashboard, the properties that you have, see so notice here the account number and the online PIN, or request it. And then you add that particular property. Once you're there, you're going to have the opportunity, see right here, to view the documents that they are using to establish your value this year. Now there are two types of comparables that you're, they're using. One is sales comps. Now my experience tells me that it has to be a sale within that calendar year. So in other words, we're well into 2019. They really don't care. So the only data they're going to consider would be sales in 2018. So when you call me for comps, then I'll do a search on all sales in your immediate neighborhood or like your home or something like that from January 1, 2018 to December 31st, 2018. Equity comps are a little bit trickier because a lot of times those homes have not sold, but they're using that as a comparison to come up with the property value they are proposing. Now, once you have that information, stop what you're doing, email me. In the subject line, put comps needed, and then include your address as well as the addresses of the properties that Tad has told you they're using for comparison. Now once I get that information, I'll turn that around pretty quickly, and then what I encourage you to do is you're going to print off those things, and then within that, notice this is subject, comp 1, comp 2, comp 3. You're going to make notes on there as it relates to what they're saying is comparable relative to your home. Keep in mind that nobody from the appraisal district is ever going to step inside your home. So certainly if you have cosmetic challenges or perhaps structural issues or anything like that that could potentially differentiate your home from between the comp that they're using, and uh, then, then this is absolutely where you want to make, make an issue of that. Now once you've done that, you want to go back into the website, and this is where you get to say what you think it's worth. 
And I encourage you to put a number that's uh, reasonably low, right? Because you're just going to want to go on record as saying, hey, I think this is what it's worth. And then at that point, you have the opportunity. Now, now sometimes they're going to come back, and this is where the automated, the 2 to 6% adjustment comes from. You may be okay with this. So in other words, you're going to say, they say, let's see, that it's worth 186, and you're like, I think it's worth 150. But in this case, they're going to come back and they're going to offer you potentially a settlement of 184. So if you're okay with that, then accept it. If you're not okay with it, protest it. So what does that look like? That means you say, I don't, I want to protest this. Now, once you do this online, you'll see that your protest has been filed. And then it just basically tells you that um, what your next steps are. Once you've registered your desire to protest within that deadline, you'll be notified with a letter in the mail from the Tarrant Appraisal District of the next steps. So be sure and contact me if you need help. Now my 2019 goal is to help 500 families save thousands of dollars and you can help. So please email me the results that you have and thank you so much for the opportunity to help you and your family save money. I'd like to help more families as well so please forward this video to your friends. And for more information, real estate tips and tricks and ongoing market updates, please be sure and like my Facebook page, which is Nicole Smith Realtor, so that I can keep you informed of what's going on in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in the real